So I'm here at Cloudland Canyon State Park. We are on the West Rim Loop Trail, uh, about two and a half miles. We parked at the West Rim Campground and uh, we'll be having a fire later with some friends and marshmallows and hot dogs and all that. But uh, it's about two o'clock and we're about three, three and a half hours away from sunset. So uh, I'm here with my wife and uh, 12 and a half year old daughter and we are winding our way along the rim to uh, get to a good spot to observe the sunset, maybe get some pictures. Um, I'm hoping to get to some overlooks and get some good shots. Uh, but it's a, I mean, it's harsh light. It's a really bright day, hardly any clouds in the sky. So I've got my fingers crossed for something that'll be nice uh, at sunset. And it's just a great day to be outside, slight breeze. And uh, I just wanna move ahead a little bit here and show you what's to my right. This is uh, pretty amazing. A little bit of wind. Hopefully that's not too bad on, on the camera here. And I'll get over a little more roots and then turn around and I can hear my wife calling for me in the distance. She probably thinks I fell off the edge, <laughs> but I hope not. Uh, yeah, Canyonland, Cloudland State Park. Canyonland. I've been to Canyonland, that's out in Utah. All right, we've hiked from the West Rim Campground and we're at the top of what's referred to as the, the stick of the lollipop when you look at the, the whole trail. Uh, the loop itself begins right behind me across that bridge and my family has gone on ahead of me and I will catch up and we keep accordioning, accordioning. I'll, uh, I'll take some shots and uh, catch up to them. They'll stop, take a break. I'll move ahead and so forth. So uh, it's nice, it's beautiful. It's probably about low 60s, mid 60s in here underneath the canopy. A lot of leaves are gone, but there's still little, little tinges of uh, oranges and yellows. So uh, we'll keep moving forward and uh, I'll go catch up to my family. Puffing and puffing a little bit, and I didn't want to hide that fact. Um, this isn't an incredibly steep hike, just little parts where you're uh, climbing up some rock steps. So when you get someone like me, you know, who feels that little bit more, plus with the, the pack I'm, I'm packing, uh, yeah, your heart rate will go up, which is good. Part of my whole goal here is to get outside and to enjoy a healthier lifestyle as well. And that's the other part of this channel is uh, talking about those aspects of getting outside and doing some photography and figuring out the ways to, to be healthy about that. So I don't know how this is gonna look, but I wanted to point out I have compression socks and a knee brace on doing my best to uh, to plan ahead and avoid any injury but also take care of uh, you know any circulation issues that might turn up but they don't normally these days I'm trying to catch up to my family they're definitely ahead of me and I'll try to keep the sun out of the behind my head here. So I'm in more of a, a little bit flatter area, a stand of trees. There's actually somebody's house and backyard over there. And I think we've gone, well, a mile and a half from the, the West Rim campground. So the trail itself is only a mile to the end. So I'm guessing we're probably a half mile or so from the the other rim maybe where we can find a, a spot to plant and watch sunset so I'll uh, try to find my family looking for the forest through the trees here I don't see the pink that my wife is wearing 
But uh, I'll catch up to them. We made it to uh, the destination. We're on the west side of the uh, West Rim Loop Trail of Cloudland Canyon. We uh, managed to climb up a, a large rock outcropping here. My daughter uh, just scaled it like a monkey. My wife said I have permission to say that she scaled it like a walrus. And I um, somehow managed to get up here. So we're up here. I've got the, the tripod set up. Uh, it was a wonderful day. Uh, bright sun. We got some really cool uh, wispy clouds right now. I'm going to turn this around. You're going to be looking directly at the sun for a moment. But hopefully... That's enough clouds to, uh, to really kind of pull some color as the sun goes down. Um, I've got high hopes. Regardless, this is, this is beautiful. I'm here with my wife and my daughter. Um, we are having a blast, so it's good to relax. Sunset is uh, really an hour from now, technically, but there'll be plenty of shots leading up to that. I'm kind of limited in where I can wander on this boulder. You can see, I'll just quickly, there's my family waiting for sunset. And then we climb down from up there. So there's not a lot of positioning I can do, but what I did try to do, did try to do, is I was looking around trying to find some leading lines and I'm liking the composition of this. It's not as strong as a leading line as I would have liked, but the edge of this rock coming you know from the corner down toward the the middle of the image and as well this oh apparently I touched the screen and it took the photo so let it go slight cycle through that um, and I've got this this tree here I like symmetry so I've got just enough of the sky band of the sky above I'm hoping that the Sun Will really color those those wispy long wispy clouds as it sets and so this band oh i touched it again is the same height as this rock to the bottom of the photo and uh so we'll see how that symmetry works awesome i love trains <laughs> See if I can position this to say hi to my wife in the background there. Get lit up by the sun. And then just a quick hello from my daughter, Abigail. There we go. So yeah, hopefully uh, I'll get some shots to show at the end of this. And uh, thank you for watching the video. Remember to, to like and subscribe. Uh, every little bit helps. And hopefully with you, my channel can grow. I'll uh, talk to you next time.